Today we learn how to interface MuseCore with Reaper. MuseCore is a fantastic music notation program produced in Ghent, Belgium, by the company of the same name. It is the free equivalent of Finale and Sibelius. I give you an advance of what you can do. Here on MuseCore I have the S8B score, soprano, alto, tenor and bass, which was saved in MIDI and imported into Reaper but dynamically. Let's first listen to the score directly from MuseCore. And now in Reaper. That is, when I change notes, these are automatically reported also within Reaper, in the items in the project as you can see. Now I bring them back to the original state. Let's start from scratch and see together how to achieve all these. Let's start with the settings on Reaper. Options, Control P on PC and Command P on Mac, Media, MIDI, Select .mid file reference. Still in options, Media. Select Set Media Items offline. It allows MuseCore to write the file that is in use in Reaper, otherwise it couldn't. Apply. OK. From this moment on, any update of the MIDI file generated by MuseCore is automatically updated in the related MIDI item in Reaper. Let's see here an example. I have prepared a rather simple score for four voices, S A to B, soprano, alto, tenor and bass, which I imported into Reaper. I change a note at will. I save the file via a shortcut of Muse Score. We will see it in a minute. Reaper updated the MIDI item accordingly. This is the basic function. Now let's see how to do it when the MIDI tracks are expanded to different items. In Repack, import Daniel Lermer's library which contains the script you need. For those who do not know how, above and in the description the video that explains how to import a Repack library. Below, in the description, the link to copy and paste in Reaper to import the library itself. Then go to Extensions, Repack, Browse Packages. Look for MIDI Transfer. Right click and install it. If you want, you can assign it to a button on the main toolbar like I did. Above and in the description, the link to the tutorial that explains how to do it. Activate the script, making sure you have activated Update on Start, Items Offline, MIDI Source. To prevent some unwanted program change from changing the tool you had preset, it happens with the Expand 2 that I'm using here, as it has this feature but not with contact, click on Options and disable Transfer Program Change. These are the settings that you typically only touch one time, as they reflect your workflow. Details about how they work are well explained in the PDF manual that comes with the script. The first time you save MIDI, you have to go to File, Export, from the drop down menu choose MIDI, Export, and save it in the default music score folder. Now go to this folder and drag the MIDI into the project. Reaper asks you if you want to expand the file to four tracks. Choose No, as MIDI transfer will do it for you. And it asks also if you wanted to import the time mapping. Here you choose what to do accordingly to your project. It's not mandatory. For this video, no need. Then click OK. If the file is multi-track, as in the case of this tutorial, choose Multi-channel item on a single track and click OK. With the MIDI transfer script open and properly set, select the main MIDI item. Click on Source button. The source item is then identified. 
select the tracks on which it is to be split. Holding down Ctrl on PC and Command on Mac, click with the left button in the area highlighted here. Click on Start and leave it active. The target tracks are inserted. The instruments in the reference items are correctly assigned to the tracks and the program change is not reported as seen above. Each time Muse score updates MIDI, the main MIDI item and the instruments assigned to the tracks are automatically updated. So far, I have exported MIDI from MuseCore by pushing F2. It's not a default function, at least in version 3 I'm using here. Here is the trick. Click on Plugins, Plugin Creator, Ctrl Shift P on PC and Command Shift P on Mac. Click on the plus icon or File, New. Remove the code and from the MIDI transfer manual, link below in the description, copy the code you find at the very end of the manual and paste it here. Save. MuseCore automatically saves the plugin in its default folder. Close the window, then again Plugins, Plugin Manager, check the export MIDI box that now shows up and click on Define Shortcut. By default, F2 is not used in MuseCore, so pressing the F2 key is selects it. Then click on Add, and it is indicated in the shortcut field, then click OK. From now on, every time you press the F2 key, the MIDI will be updated. Was this video useful to you? If so, I ask you either to support my Patreon or to pay me a beer. For one or the other, here are the links in the description. That's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.